channel if you are new then welcome I hope you like this video subscribe to my channel comments on my videos um, but if you are returning then thank you welcome back for today's video I have something I haven't done ever so this is a new <laughs> this is new for me but I'm actually gonna be doing a what's in my iPhone 11 video here's the thing my phone has so much stuff it's ridiculous I have the iPhone 11 in black and I believe this is the this is the 256 gigabyte um, iPhone 11 phone this is in black um, and this phone case if you can see I got it through Amazon through Amazon and my pop socket it's from shop Yvette XO I freaking love it but without further ado this this is embarrassing I have so so many apps on my phone that I'm gonna have to declutter it so let's get started okay so as soon as my phone is unlocked this is my front screen clearly you can see I have so much on my phone from calendars to the clock, weather, maps, app store, the calculator, notes, settings, what I used a lot. But I also have the Pandora, PayPal, my Gmail, YouTube, um, my bank, Starbucks, Dunkin', and my photos. Those are the apps I frequent a lot, but I also have so many <laughs> apps in folders because I don't want to have so many pages you know um, so in this folder I have all everything involving pretty much social media from Instagram snapchat Twitter Facebook I have Netflix Broadway HD if you know what that's about then comment down below so I have the P tracker which tracks um, how I'm doing with my period and all of that good stuff I do highly recommend it, so I do love it. I have my gym app, my camera, uh, FaceTime, Spectrum TV, that's what we have to watch our television. I have Uber Eats, Postmates, Books, Fiverr. So Fiverr is also an app I use to do voiceovers. Um, so that's what I use um, to have a little extra income. I have Costco, Mail, Style Seat. Uh, daily horoscope my Apple watch and my Apple watch activity so for finance oh my god I have so much clearly I don't use this as much um actually I don't use it at all I used to use it a lot and I do recommend these apps um because you can find different types of recipes your intakes of a food of what you eat during the day and also what workouts you've been doing um, so that's a good one too I truly love gas buddy and it's actually in the wrong folder gas buddy is where you can find where the cheapest gas is at so you can compare prices um, to your local or actually a few miles away whenever you're in different areas you can see where the cheapest gas is at um, and that's about it for health. I definitely need to start decluttering my phone because it's so much. Um, and this folder is also so full, but it's used for many, many things. Actually, this is what I use to edit videos, pictures on my phone. So I definitely use Facetune, not for like all that crazy stuff. I do smooth out some like textures either on my face but I don't do like that crazy insta influencers do or models um, I don't do that I do like having a type of look on my Instagram when it comes to uh, my pictures so for that I do use square fits and 
no, actually, just square fit when it comes to my Instagram pictures. I don't do any, I really don't do any filters on my pictures, but I do use square square fit. So I customize the size to it, and then I do like a um, a preset to it, which that's how my Instagram looks. So if you're not following me on Instagram, I really hope you do follow me. It's at Gabby Castro Music. So check out my Instagram page. Um, uh, Bazaar, I actually really highly recommend this, um, this app between Facetune, Bazaar, and SquareFit. Those are the three main apps I actually use to, um, to edit my thumbnails for YouTube. Um, so very easy. I can actually make a video for it if that if you would like to see how I edit my thumbnails. Just comment down below and let me know if you'd like to see that. And then I have all these crazy other ones. Honestly, I haven't checked them out. It's those things where it's like you have specific apps where you use, where you like to do some of your editing. Um, and I typically just stick to the to my three, but I need to venture out because I have so many apps for editing. And that's it for my editing. And for my business, with this one I have Ikea because I do get a lot of my furniture from there. Um, GoodRx is in the wrong area, should be in health, but I also recommend GoodRx. If, for example, if you're a person that doesn't have health insurance, you can, whenever you do need uh, prescriptions from the pharmacy, when you, whenever you need medicine, this is a good app where you can receive discounts for it. So you don't have to pay full price for a medicine that is extremely expensive. <clears throat> and then I have Google Maps. I don't use it. I typically stick to Maps and another app, which you will see in a few minutes. And then I have YouTube Studio, where I keep on track with comments, uh, my analytics for my YouTube channel. And then I have a radio. This is where I keep all my favorite radio stations if they have apps i download the apps because radio is not dead is very 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 much alive and then this last app on my first page is all about um college applications that i use um if you would like to see more about it or know more about it let me know in the comments and I can definitely go in um, in detail what these apps are about but these are the apps I use um, for college now on my second page so you got games on your phone <laughs> I've been seeing that meme frequently um, but yeah I do have a folder for games and um, these are some games I've been liking. I don't play them so so frequently, um, but whenever I have like on a long drive where I'm not driving and I'm just a little bored, I'll play once in a while a game, game or two. Um, but I really like the Cooking Fever Temple Run too. It's really fun. I actually like. I also like the Murder in Elves. It ge it gets you thinking, and then. Helix Jump is also a good one, and these other ones are good too. Apple made this folder called it Social Networking, but um, Loopify is also a really good place where you can shop. So I also use Smartcast and Roku. I use that for our smart TV. And Sprint Drive is a app we use to check um, any to do any diagnostics on our vehicles. is a little we attach to our car and we see what's going on if there's any issues with it so the other app I was talking about besides maps is Waze so lately I've been really enjoying Waze because it gives you notifications on how the road is looking if you're gonna be on the road if there's any cops or any of that good stuff if there's accidents or someone on the side of the road so it notifies you um, I do would like to say a little disclosure. Sometimes it's not accurate, so don't be fooled. And then these apps, I still haven't found a home. So after I do declutter my phone, 
um, either I might keep them, I might not, so I'm not sure. So All Trails was actually recommended to me. Uh, so one of my friends, um, he really, really likes to uh, go hiking. And this is a good app where you can find the best uh, trails where you can go hiking on. Like to Know It is an app where you can find influencers and see their outfits and they let you know where they got them. And then there's Rubio's. I love Rubio's. It's so good. I would say my favorite, favorite dish from them is the California Bowl. It's so yummy. If you have a Rubio's in your area, check out the California Bowl because it's delicious. And then this next app is Grove. Uh, this is Grove Collaborative where I get all my household products. And I will keep them uh, linked down below if you have any questions. And then Drop is also a, another app where you can uh, save money while you shop and earn back points, earn back money in places where you frequently shop. And then E, well, that's where you gotta watch some TV where you can't find it on Netflix, Hulu, and those places. So, and that's really what I have on my phone. Um, if you have any questions on anything that you've seen, let me know. Comment down below if you have any questions or um, would like to know about a specific app. And like I mentioned before, um, oh, I did forget to mention I do have my phone's Safari messages and my music on my main um, little area, on my main little area. So if you have any questions um, or would like to see a different type of video or see me declutter my phone that's another good video um comment down below if that's something you would like to see um also for all my college people if you would like to know what i have in my college folder just comment down below and let me know so without further ado i hope you enjoyed this video so don't forget to give this video a thumbs up comment down below subscribe to my channel do all that good stuff and I hope to see you on my next video.